My name is Shunsuke Managi. My research topic is measuring sustainability. Given the importance of United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, understanding how to judge its degree of success and failure is required. The Inclusive Wealth Index measures the wealth of nations in terms of well-being and the long-term sustainability. Statistical infrastructure actively shapes the future through its influence on government policies. Our group has shown an opportunity to define the recovery from COVID-19 in terms of sustainable development, the Paris Agreement, the Beyond GDP movement. Our results have been implemented widely in different continents for suggesting future policies, such as which, which technology to be used, how much budget needed, and telling how different disciplines can contribute on project collaborations. Here at the International Institute for Carbon Neutral Energy Research in Kyushu University, we are addressing issues which affect all of us in the Asia-Pacific region. One of our major goals is to reduce carbon dioxide and to realise a carbon neutral future for Japan and for the region. By working with us, you can be involved in research which considers the environmental, economic and social aspects of energy systems. On the environmental side, our focus is on bringing new, carbon neutral technologies into the energy system, including hydrogen, renewables and even cutting edge technologies such as biomimetic catalysts and artificial photosynthesis. On the economic side, we have expertise in clarifying the linkages between development and carbon emissions, as well as identifying which energy policies will work in different regions because of cultural or demographic differences. Finally, one of our biggest focuses is our work on the social aspects of energy, including the quantification of social equity or how fair the energy system will become if different technologies are deployed. We hope that we can link with many people throughout the Asia Pacific and the world to highlight the fairest and most efficient ways to achieve a carbon neutral energy transition together. Hi, this is Kuriko from Temdec, Telemedicine Development Center of Asia in Kyushu University Hospital. There are medical disparities in the world. International remote medical education using ICT is an effective way to fill such skills and knowledge gaps among doctors. However, Many medical institutions are not ready to carry out such activities yet. Temdec has a 20-year history of international remote medical education. Our network has been expanded to over 1,000 institutions in 80 countries. I am conducting researches on engineering training programs and the development of education systems. I'd like to contribute the deduction of medical disparities in the world. I'm Akihito Zaki from the Faculty of Human Environmental Studies, Kyushu University. My specialty is building environmental engineering. This field aims to enrich the living environment of people. I'm particularly good at functional design, such as ecological architecture, and energy saving architecture. To briefly explain, I am designing a comfortable and healthy living environment and developing advanced energy saving buildings that use renewable energy. Generally, they are defined as green buildings or sustainable buildings. A carbon free society is a universal goal. In Japan, carbon dioxide emission from buildings due to human energy consumption, such as heating and cooling, account for about 32% of the total amount. Aiming for a carbon-free society, I am recently working on the development of zero energy buildings that achieve both a good environment and net zero energy consumption in buildings. Hello everyone, I am Yasuhiro Mitani, professor at the Asian Disaster Risk Reduction Research Center of Kyushu University. This research center consists of four research fields, disaster prevention system research, nuclear disaster response research, 
extreme meteorological disaster response research and regional international collaboration disaster prevention research. Due to the recent worldwide climate change, many disasters have become more severe and increasingly widespread. Asian Disaster Risk Reduction Research Center integrates these four research areas to pursue disaster prevention and mitigation research. In the future, we will make the best use of our research results to confront various issues of coming hazardous weather in the Asian and Kyushu regions. Greetings from the International Student Center at Kyushu University. We have long contributed to promoting the university's international education through offering unique study programs designed specifically for those interested in studying in Japan and a short term to learn about Japanese culture and society. As a group of faculty members with rich experience in international education and research, we take great pride in working closely with the diverse body of students from all over the world, including various parts of Asia. Let me quickly introduce you to two of the study programs that may be of your interest. Japan in Today's World and Japanese Language and Culture Courses. We call them JTW and JLCC, respectively. These programs last for one year and offer you diverse courses about Japanese society, culture, and language for credit. These programs will also offer many field study trips and other extracurricular activities. So you may learn about Japan not only academically but also throughout your first-hand cross-cultural experience outside the classroom. Government scholarships may be available on a competitive basis. Which program would you better for you? JTW is done all in English and JLCC in Japanese. So consider JTW if you are beginners of Japanese studies and JLCC and advanced learners. We very much look forward to seeing you joining our exciting campus in the near future throughout these programs. <laughs>